Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Kim or Kimmy or Kimmy Cup. Um, and if you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back and watching Vikings with me, my friends. Um, <laughs> okay, so if you haven't watched the last episode, you need to watch that. <laughs> before you watch this one with me uh you can go ahead and click right there um you don't want to miss it honestly i have i have an emotional breakdown i'm in that episode um so if you are into watching those go ahead and watch that video uh anyway so here we are here we are I think it's been a week or two, I'm not sure, since I watched the last episode. Typically, I do not wait that long between episodes to film, but I was very, very, very upset in the last episode. And I needed to take a little space away from Vikings um, and focus on some other shows, which I did. But honestly, I was editing Vikings, the last episode. Um, as I was editing it, I got emotional again. But it made me want to, uh, it made me want to continue on. Because even though what happened happened, I still want to continue the story. I still want to see what happens with Ragnar and Bjorn and you know there are still some amazing characters in this show and um just because I was very upset by one character's death does not mean I won't finish a show so um I just yeah <laughs> after that last episode I just needed a little bit of a break I was like okay yeah I gotta step back for a minute here from this show so anyway Thanks for coming back. Um, I am excited to continue on and see where their journey takes us. So let's go, my friends. Grab your coffee. I got a little Dunkin' today. Um, or your water, your tea, your snacks. And yeah, let's get into this episode. So this is season three, episode seven. And this one is called Paris. So that's interesting. Um, so I'm assuming they are going to Paris. I wasn't sure what they were going to do after that last episode. It, they kind of left us with a cliffhanger with Ragnar about what, about what he was going to do. So I am very, very interested to see where that goes. So without further ado, let's get going. Oh, good. We're picking up where we left off. Oh. Okay, he's staring right up Loki. I think he might know. Even though I don't think anybody else knows what he did. Because remember, he was very sneaky. Like, he made sure nobody saw him coming. But I think if Ragnar, does it, if Ragnar doesn't know for sure, he, he definitely suspects. A fake hand? Where are his gloves just very to Here they come into Paris. Honest Quins. Marvain sits Norway's the Bans Paris not recited. France Opera Magnus raised red rares. Simon Domus con Flandre say that three. Urovam ke box at frates from us, cast flumes of race masis. On his est, vus and vai. It is all very well to criticize others. If they had agreed to act, the progress of the Northmen would have been frustrated at every reach of the river. Paris has been prepared for this attack. We are well provisioned with food and water, enough to last the whole summer. I am relieved to hear it. Hmm. What's he gonna do? You must tell Count Odo 
that you have no intention of abandoning your people. That whatever happens, you will stay with them. Sorry guys, I totally forgot to put this back on. Okay, that should be better now with the sound. <laughs> I just realized, I was like, where is my microphone? Defeat them, and I will be seen as a worthy successor. Oh, the little goat. <laughs> so cute. I'm on a little goat. Here's Mr. Rollo. I really, really want to know why they decided to kill off Ethelstan. I mean, there's so many other people they could have killed off. Stan was so important to um, Ragnar and their relationship, and they could have had fuck, man. They could have had an amazing storyline. Ugh, this idiot, King Ekbot. Forgive me for asking, my son, but how is your marriage? <laughs> um. It is hard to forget what happened, and I try hard to forgive. Considering he let his wife's ear get cut off, I would say it's not too good. Ayla is your ally and your friend. Oh no, not my friend. I don't have any friends. Mm, what a magnificent boy. <laughs> Ethel Stan's son. I wonder how he is. Who? Athelstan. That name again. Why must you forever bring him to mind? So he obviously doesn't know Athelstan is dead. Though I guess why would he, right? Now I'm honestly surprised that um, they went to Paris. I really thought Ragnar would want to go to um, Wessex first to get his revenge on King Ekbert for what he did to the settlement, but I'm sure he has a plan. You wanted to talk to me like that? I miss him. Mm. Athelstan. I wish he was here with us. Since you carry his cross, he still is here with us. He would have been here. He knows. We will manage without him. We have no choice now. The hell? Father, forgive me. Ew. I must speak with the prince. Prince Adolf? He's um, prince Adolf. punishing himself right now. You've interrupted the sacred. There is no excuse. There is one, my lord. Death waits for no man. Who's that? Who is this? Oh. You sent nobles with Queen Quentrith to look after our interests in Mercia. What happened to you? The Queen repudiated the contract she signed with us. She wants to rule alone. She tried to kill all of us that were sent to safeguard the interests of Wesley. Oh, is that the Queen who killed her brother? Hmm. I know we've had our differences of late. Perhaps it is my fault. I have not been myself. Would he kill Floki? Like, if he knew that Floki killed Ethelstan? I want you to be in command. Would he kill Floki? That's right. Me? King Ragnar, we have reached Paris. The king? My oldest friend has asked me to take him out. <laughs> Rollo's face. <laughs> How do we best attack the city? Some of us have taken a closer look at the city from further up the bank, and we suggest a plan. To mount simultaneous attacks both from the water and from the land. In which case, Floki 
You'll be responsible for constructing whatever it is we need to scale these walls. <laughs> no, don't you worry about me, Donald. I will make something truly astonishing. Okay. Let's hope the gods bless your efforts. <laughs> I think Ragnar's just putting him on. Oh, I feel like we haven't seen her in a while. How does her scar look? There, see? Please take care. Told you it would heal. Looks a lot better. Take my baby. Why? What are you talking about? I cannot care for her. I want her to be like your sons. I want her to be Viking. Think of Björn. I am. This is why I want you to raise his daughter. Björn will be much happier and better off without me. It is a very selfish thing to believe. All because of your scar? It's not even that bad. Your daughter yeah. needs you. Talk some sense into her. Uh, don't tell me the poor girl kills herself or something. Freya will comfort you as she comforts me. Yeah. Is she struggling because of her scar? Or because she feels like she failed when they were fighting or what? What kind of a world do we live in? When the friends of our friends kill our friends. Uh, you kill Ragnar's people. But still, there is a way for this deluded queen to find some redemption. Is there? There is. How so? To go to Mercia and tell the queen that she may be forgiven for slaughtering our nobles, <laughs> but only if she begs mercy. If not, we will show her the Iron Fist. We will invade and we will destroy her. Ooh, yeah. Or something. Or of that something. Sort. Uh, what's Ragnar doing? Scoping out the place? He'll always be with you, dude. I know it's not the same, though. We must expect an attack any day now. Gisla, I regret not sending you to safety in time. I did not want to be sent away. I wanted to stay here with you. I like her dress. It's really pretty. He once refused my offer of marriage. Ugh. If you save Paris, I will forever be in your debt. Is that Helga? Does she know what Floki did? I have so many responsibilities now, Helga. My inventions will allow us to enter Paris. And then Ragnar will kill you. No, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what Ragnar will do once he finds out. Because I know he's going to find out eventually. Do you know why? If he doesn't they know already. Do you know why? It's because I gave them a great sacrifice. No. Do you know what I did, Elka? Oh, he's going to tell her. He killed Arthur's son. Oh, so she didn't know. <laughs> oh. I assume she knew. Because when he was like, I need to sneak out and... And then Ethelstan ended up dead. Maybe she suspected, but she didn't know for sure. Now the question is, is she going to tell anybody about it? It's so beautiful. Judith. Oh, that's Judith. Her poor ear. I have Sorry. some words. It's probably loud. From the Romans themselves. And it's raining. Athelstan helped me to translate them. 
as though he is here talking to us now. Hmm. As long as there is breath in my body, I will protect you and your son, Alfred. Believe me. Just cause he's Ethel stands. Ew. No. You're her father-in-law. <laughs> she... Yep, she is. Go ahead and kill him. <laughs> he has to wait the whole time. While she finishes. That's funny. Queen Quintress, I bring a message from my father. He condemns the murder of our nobles who accompanied you here in good faith. I wonder what your father threatened to do to me. He threatened to have you drawn and quartered. Right? That's what it's called. Come. Uh oh. May I present to you my son, Prince Magnus. Yes, he's named after his father. Is that right? His father. I think Ragnarson? you may know him. Ragnar Lothbrook. Oh, no. <laughs> and nothing will stop him from returning to these shores, both for Magnus and for his settlement. We have destroyed his settlement. Yeah, I was going to say, his settlement is gone. Then he will return with vengeance upon you. Mm -mm. You would be unwise to kill us. It would give my father the very pretext he needs. A pretext to invade Mercia and become its king. Mm -mm. Wow. Loki sure was busy, huh? Helga has to tell someone. She can't keep that in. Everything ready, Floki? Yes. Everything is ready. Oh, boy. What is this? This Paris? What is this? Is that the princess, it looks like? That's a cool shot. Skagay! 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 Okay. Alrighty, friends. That was the end of that episode. Pretty good episode. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel or what they were going to do um, after that last episode. Um, I wasn't sure if they were going to pick up right where we left off, which at first I thought we were because it kind of looked like um, Ragnar was in the same position with his head and the cross and everything as they ended in the last episode. But it wasn't. That's fine. I am very surprised. Maybe not very surprised, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty surprised. I am. I'm pretty surprised that uh, they're attacking Paris. I know it was in the plans. I just thought that after uh, settlement news debacle and after Ethel Stan passed away, or after he was murdered, I should say. Um, that Ragnar would change his mind and instead of going to Paris right away, he would go and seek revenge for the settlement and, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think he knows. He definitely suspects for sure. I want to say he knows, but if he doesn't know hundred percent, he definitely suspects that Floki killed Ethelstan. I just don't know what he'll do because I feel like he'll definitely do something. Uh, I mean, Ethel Sam was like his, his brother, I should say his brother. His brother is, is Rollo and I feel like they're not that close, but you know what I mean? Ethel Sam was like, I've talked about this before, his best friend, soulmate kind of thing in a best friend way, um, brother, brotherly way. I feel like 
And I could be wrong, but I feel like he loved Ethel Stan more than Rolo. <laughs> in a way, in a way. He did though, he loved him, he loved him. So I do feel like he will do something to Floki. I don't know what, when he finds out, cause I definitely feel like he'll find out. And now that Helga knows for sure, I feel like she will tell, she'll tell someone. I don't think she's gonna keep that to herself. She might try to keep it to herself for a while cause obviously she loves Floki, but I feel like the guilt will eat away at her eventually and she's gonna have to tell somebody. She'll probably end up telling Oslog, I'm assuming. I feel like, cause they're close and they talk to each other. And then if at that point Oslog tells Ragnar, I don't know, but uh, the truth will come out. It always does. So it feels weird not seeing Ethel stand in the episode. It really does. Like when they were all standing there at the end, looking at Paris, um, I kept thinking like Ethel Stan should be there. He deserves to be there. Yeah, I don't know. I still enjoyed the episode, but it just feels different. I don't know. I don't know. It was kind of the same way I felt like if you guys have watched The Walking Dead, it's kind of the same way I felt like after, by the way, spoilers, if you haven't seen The Walking Dead. Anyway, just it, spoilers ahead if you haven't seen The Walking Dead. But anyway, it, I kind of felt the same way like after Glenn died. Um, like it just wasn't the same without him for a while. So I think it's going to take me a little while to kind of get back into it, feel as excited as I used to about watching it. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a little while, I feel like. But it was a good episode. Uh, I don't know about the whole Wessex Mercia thing going on. Um, that was really funny though, that she kept him waiting while she was doing what she was doing. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I do not like Ethel Wolf. I don't like him at all. And then poor Judith. God. She's stuck in Wessex with a husband that is an asshole and just hates her now. Now he hates her. Her ear is chopped off and now she has her father-in-law. It seems like now she has her father-in-law like trying to go after her. I don't know. It seemed kind of weird between them. Like he was like hitting on her a little bit. I don't know. I could be reading that wrong, but he did kiss her. And I'm like, I don't know. That was, that was weird. So I think I'll end it here. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching with me. Uh, I am excited to see the next episode and see how Paris goes and the raid and, you know, see what happens with that. Um, and I am excited to see how things progress with uh, Ragnar and Floki. So I don't know. I'm gonna wanna see if Helga tells anybody in the next episode. Why do I have a feeling it's gonna be like the last episode of the season that Ragnar's gonna find out for sure, like 100%. And then he's gonna do what he's gonna do. I don't know. That's my prediction. No spoilers. Okay. I will see you next time, my friends. If you want to watch these with me in full, unedited, uh, go ahead and check out my Patreon. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.